I'm Brian. That's Brian. <laughs> this is Michelle. And this is the best 20 minutes of your week. Video game. True or false? Guys, make sure you subscribe to our channel, youtube.com slash without parole games. Also, support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash without parole games. Also, if you want to submit your own list of video game true or false questions, go to facebook.com slash, I'm going to guess, without parole games. I and, would say uh, so. And send us a message there. Uh, give you a list of games, and then way, way, way down at the bottom, list those games again with the true with the or false answers. answers. If this is your first time watching video game true or false, here's how it works. One of us takes the role of the host. This week, it's me. The cross the host must bear is to come up with a list of 10 games. Some of them are real, some of them are fake. You have to come up with a name of the game, a system it came out for, a year it came out, and a description of said game. Um, it's your role as playing along at home and these two guys here, Brian and Michelle, uh, as the contestants to guess whether those games are real or fake, video game true or false. Makes Congratulations, sense. you won. <laughs> it's a guessing <laughs> game. It's a, there's no real skill involved. It's not like a knowledge-based thing. Uh, so here's the thing. Uh, we love when people send us lists. We love when you send us lists. Because we hate making the list. <laughs> we yes. cry about it all the time. I kind of like helping make the list. Now, Brian, well, then you can submit right. your own 10 questions at facebook.com. That's not forward slash. slash. Forward slash? Who says forward slash? HTTP forward slash forward slash. W I guess I'll never. I guess World I, Wide okay. Web dot. Um, S submit your list. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> dot please. Dot please. <laughs> and <laughs> and that's how we play. Yeah. So so so, you, so we've been really fortunate the last month or so. Alessandro has sent us two lists, and Jesse Benson sent us one, and then he sent us another one for this week's episode. Uh, we want Jeremy to be here for for um, Jesse Benson's contribution. Okay. I wasn't here for last month's contribution. Okay, well that's the, we definitely don't want that happening again, <laughs> right? We we, we want it's true. We, it's true though. Yeah. Yeah. It's verifiable. It's verifiable. So pull out your paper. What kind of paper? We never wrapping asked paper. Wrapping paper. Wrapping <laughs> paper. Uh, pull out a piece of paper, wrapping paper, whatever you got handy. You need a permanent marker to write on aluminum foil. A number at one to ten. <laughs> Play along at home, but remember, you're on the honor system. Oh, so here's what we did this week. Um, Tell me. Since we didn't know Jeremy wasn't going to be here till kind of the last minute, uh, Michelle and I were at work. Brian was also oh, at yes. work. We were all at work. We were all at work today. There was no time to create a new list of video game true or false. So what I did was I went into the Midnight Games Cast archives and pulled out a list that you probably haven't seen before. It's an old one. It's from episode four or five. Oh. Yeah. So I definitely haven't seen it. Right. Uh, it's one I came up with. It's funny because I, so I went on YouTube mm -hmm. and I went back to the old episodes and I was like, oh, which one's a good list? Which one's a good list? And then and I got out a piece of pen, a piece of pen, a piece of pen, a piece of paper, <laughs> Not and a the whole thing. A piece of paper a and a pen, and I was ready to write it down. And, you know, like listen to me talk and write and copy it down, transcribe as they say, hmm. right? Good word. They Thanks. do say that. Transcribe. And then I, who are they? I don't know. So and then I, and then I was They're everywhere. And as I started writing, I was as I started writing, I was like, that notebook looks familiar. I think that's under a pile of stuff in my, <gasps> on my desk. And I was able you to found the nice. I was able to go back <laughs> yeah. and to rewrite it all down. I found the exact same notebook I used on episode. That's great news. Five, four, something. Yeah. Number one. Number one, Captain Rainbow. Number one is Captain Rainbow. This is a Japanese-only Wii game from Wii. 2008. Play as Nick, who is able to transform into Captain Rainbow, the yo-yo-wielding star of a once popular TV show. No longer popular, Nick travels to Mimin Island, where wishes are Mimin. said to come true. I've been there. Captain Rainbow. It's lies. 
The funny thing is, I'm not really sure if I remember all of the answers. (laughs) It would be really funny if you wrote down your own guesses for the answers. There we go. And then I have to go back and watch the episode before I can score it properly. Number two. (laughs) Number two. Boonga. Boonga. Number two. Boonga. 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 That's way too many boongas, guys. Boonga. That's like twice as many boongas as it should be. Why does it make me want to play bongos? Boonga. Because you're a Makes me want to play boonga. <laughs> boonga Boonga <laughs> is a 2001 Japanese-only arcade game. Hmm. It's the first arcade game that simulates Kancho. It's a popular prank in Japan where a victim is poked with two fingers. In the anus, unsuspectedly, <laughs> while distracted. Yeah. Pancho. And you made this list, right? Pancho. Uh, I did. Yeah. I did. True. He made this list. It's verifiable. He made this list. Number three. Some things never surprise me. Number three. So the, deep. The silent. <laughs> But Sorry. deadly. Number three is the silent, but deadly. This is a 2006 Nintendo DS game. Uh, in this surprisingly serious game, you play as Laura, a mute girl, and Rose, her very chatty cat, in this rhythm-based dungeon crawler, notable only for being the worst-selling game ever on the Nintendo DS, and now one of the hardest to find. The silent, but deadly. True, so true. Number four. <clears throat> Number four is Icarus Proudbottom in the Curse of the Chocolate Fountain. False. This is a, <laughs> you're not supposed to say it out loud. Number, <laughs> number four, Icarus Proudbottom in the Curse of the Chocolate Fountain. It's a 2010 flash game. Play as a young man cursed with non-stop defecation. So strong it sends him flying around the world. <laughs> fighting countless enemies including President Barack Obama. What? I know what I want the answer to be. Is that what you wrote? What you want it to be, or what you think it is? What I want it to be. Okay. Okay. I like that. Yeah. That's what Jeremy does I too. Think Jer- I think. Yeah, I was just gonna say. I yeah. think Jeremy does that a lot too. Yeah. Then I'm fulfilling my role. Jeremy's been doing pretty well lately. Jeremy, comment below. <laughs> Are you still watching? <laughs> There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> I hope you feel better. <laughs> no, he's not still watching. He died. <laughs> Number five. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's if you don't let him out. Doing under me. Number five. What is he doing? Contagion. <laughs> Zach McCracken in the Alien Mind Benders. Number five is Zach McCracken in the Alien Mind Benders. 1988 Commodore 64 game. Travel all over the Commodore 64. Travel all over <laughs> the world and even to Mars as Zach McCracken, writer for the tabloid newspaper The National Inquisitor. In an attempt to keep aliens from taking over the phone company. Can I call the voice of the internet? Yeah. I need to phone a friend. You cannot phone Siri? a friend. Des. Des oh. is Des. <laughs> Des. He yeah. hasn't been that long. Des, time. where are you? Des is the, my co host now. I'm ready to get my two points. Two points? Two points. Number six George Washington Carver's Great Peanut Butter Adventure. Number six, George Washington Carver's Great Peanut Butter Adventure. This is a Keep nineteen <laughs> eight. No, just a twice. Uh, just just the twice. <laughs> nineteen eighty eight PC game, considered by some to be a complete ripoff of the Oregon Trail. This educational computer game doesn't star George Washington Carver as the protagonist, but instead focuses on his bratty preteen neighbors who have a nasty habit of trespassing onto his property and stealing peanut butter plants from his garden. I want a peanut butter plant. Peanut butter plants would be great. <laughs> be delicious. Kind of like Chinese food. Uh, 
Why are you doing this to us? Can we order I'm, pizza? I'm Can we? That'd be awesome. <laughs> pizza and VR. We should we should order the pizza, and by the time we're done the podcast, it'll be we could it. have the delivery guy play true and false with us. <laughs> <laughs> Mohammed, should, where are you? He should <laughs> deliver us <laughs> video game true and false lists instead. Yes. Oh, instead, do that. seven. In addition to. Oh yeah, in addition to. Yeah. Ah, oh, pizza sounds so seven. Good. So good. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, that might be. Oh. Number seven, fearless, furry, fairy, frolic. Seven fearless furry fairy frolic. I'd like to play. This is a 1991 <laughs> PC engine game. Hot on the tail of Super Mario Brothers three, play as a magical raccoon-like animal known as a tanuki. I want one. This wasn't nearly as popular as Super Mario Brothers three in Japan because the developers incorporated the large testicles into the main character that tanukis are known for. <laughs> we just went from true mm. to false. <laughs> and then back again. <laughs> did we? I don't know. Number an interesting eight. list. Number eight is natural born killers. Number eight, natural born killers. This is a 1995 <laughs> vir- virtual boy game. Meant to be a launch game for Nintendo's Virtual Boy, Natural Born Killers was an early first-person shooter sporting shooting gallery-like streets. This game was 100% complete when Nintendo pulled the plug due to its excessive violence and gore. And because the Virtual Boy operated differently than every other video game console ever made, it never saw the light of day. Do you ever breathe? So, (gasps) does does that make it a fake game? Because it was never released. Um... <clears throat> so it's false anyway. But I'm telling you, it's history. So, like, Throw Kill was a real game, but it never came out. Is that like a loophole you're trying to pull there? Yeah, huh? Yeah, that's what's <laughs> happening. All right. That's what I'm going for. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Number nine. That's Number pretty star. nine. Number nine. <clears throat> Summer colored high school adolescent record. A summer at school on an island where I contemplate how the first day after I transferred, I ran into a childhood friend and was forced to join the journalism club, where while my days as a paparazzi kid with great scoops made me rather popular amongst the girls, <laughs> but strangely my camera is full of panty shots and where my candid romance is going. Number That's- nine is... Summer love, <laughs> summer colored high school adolescent record. A summer at school on an island where I contemplate how the first day after I transferred, I ran into a childhood Best friend list and ever. was forced to join the journalism club. It's just the where title. while my days as a paparazzi kid with great scoops made me rather popular amongst the girls, but strangely, my camera is full of panty shots and where my candid romance is going. So, 2015 <laughs> Japanese only PlayStation. Are we gonna be able to see our faces? Because that's gonna be so long. <laughs> Japanese only PlayStation 3 game. I don't have a description because I think the title says it all. Hmm. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. All right, uh, number all right. 10. Yeah. So, about that pizza. Can you repeat number 9 again? <laughs> <laughs> you can just read it at the bottom of the screen. Oh. Number 10 How to Be a Complete Bastard. Number True. 10 is How to Be a Complete Bastard. Bastard. This is a 1987, <laughs> you guessed it, Commodore 64 game. Flip stable. In- False. <laughs> invade a swanky party. Build up your fart meter. Get drunk and pull pranks until there are no more party goers left. Hmm. I want it to be true. Hmm. Uh, so uh, make sure you, uh, if you're playing along at home, pull out your answer sheet, which should already be out because... Duh, already just, playing. Just finished the last number. God, they do this every time. They're really, hoping for two points. Yeah. yeah, well, we are going to do two. You're hoping for two. Yep. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, it's important to like be realistic. I'm hoping for seven. Right? You're I'm setting my seven. goals high. Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I actually have I have faith in you. Oh. I, I, Gotta I, have faith, I, faith. Oh. George Michael. Oh, yeah. I thought we were gonna sing more on the podcast. Well, we can, but not the day after George Michael dies. On a brand new day. Don't tell me you started singing Faith and you didn't know that George Michael was dead. George Michael died? 
I'm still hung up on Leonard Cohen. Yeah, seriously. Uh, don't get me wrong. George Michael died? Oh, wow. He didn't play mm-hmm. video games or listen to the news. <laughs> 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 All right. so number, number one. Oh, Captain, man, that's a bummer. Number one is Captain Rainbow. <laughs> what did you write? I wrote true. True. You're both right. It's true. Hooray. Hey. Ding. Captain <laughs> Rainbow. One. Number two, Boonga. Boonga. Boonga, Boonga. What did you write? I wrote true. I wrote true. You're oh. Both right. It's true. True. Wow, killing it. Oh, yeah. and that's it you for you. Are, right, one more. <laughs> I gotta get all my points. <laughs> no more right. And this is where we start being different. Number three. I, I, did, I wrote these out of order. I don't know why I used to do this. The silent but deadly. True. False. It is false. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a game uh, about mute. Made a mute joke. I already exceeded my goals. Silent but deadly. And her friend that's chatty. Chatty cat. Chatty? Friends? Chatty cat. Chatty catty. Number Chatty. four. Number four is... Oh, I started because I wanted to change it, and I didn't. That's a shame. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you you should have walked in your answer. Number I did four. walk in my answer. Icarus, proud bottom, and the curse of the chocolate fountain. What did you write? False. False. You wrote false, too? Mm-hmm. You're both wrong. Damn Icarus, it. proud See? bottom, is true. <laughs> You should have changed it. You but I didn't, so X we go. Number five, Zach <laughs> McCracken in the Alien Mind Benders. True. True. You both seem rather confident about this one. True. <laughs> Verifiable. Verifiable. And it's a good thing you are confident because it is absolutely true. Hooray. All right. Wow, we're... we're, we're are we're, you cheating? No, I... Mm-hmm. Does it look like a cheating list? Did, did you, watch, you, it? Like to did you watch this episode before? <laughs> <laughs> you were talking in work. Number six. George Washington <laughs> Carver's Great Peanut Butter Adventure. True. True. Wait, six? Six. False. <laughs> it is it false. Is. Oh. Oh, man. Hey, you can't beat me. Yeah, I think he's gonna. Get out of here. I think he's gonna. Nuh-uh. I think he's no, gonna. I don't think so. Yeah. Mm. Hey. Hey. Get uh, out of here, Mario. Number seven, fearless furry fairy frolic. False. True. Uh, he finally going wrong. Uh, Hooray. Yeah. Fearless <laughs> furry fairy frolic is false. Oh, that's a lot of F's. Wow. Fearless yeah. furry This is where I stopped getting them right. False. Okay. Number eight, natural born killers. False. False. You're... Both right. It's false. Oh. Okay. Wait, what's the count so far? We know one more, and then we'll count. Number nine. I number already nine. counted. Summer colored high school adolescent record of summer at school on an island where I contemplate how the first day after I transferred I ran into a child friend was forced to join journalism club over all my days as a paparazzi kid with great scoops made me rather popular amongst the girls with strangers my cameras full of panty shots and where the can of romance is going. True. False. It's true. Hooray! <laughs> it is, uh, yeah. The, I wanted it to I be I actually false. knew that was That's true. <laughs> it's real bad. Yeah, and then I mean, I've looked up the longest, uh, only in I've looked up the longest titled video game ever before. That wasn't it? You looked it up before and that wasn't it? Wait, no, I looked it up oh, before. That's, that's, it was on there. Funny. I wrote true. Oh, you got it right. That's so cute. Yeah. That's hilarious. It's a cliffhanger. <laughs> Oh, because both good. I believe we both have six. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, you both and have different six. answers Get out of for here. the last question. No, no, no. How, no, how many? Uh, how many is, is, are we tied? I have six. I have six. <gasps> we are tied. Holy moly. And different answers for the last question. Oh, oh my gosh. This is exciting. Well, at least I don't come up I with said I was gonna. Question. I said I was going to get seven right, though. Number ten, how to be a complete bastard. I hope you do. Are you going to get seven right? What did you write? What did you write? Wait, True. no. What did you write? I wrote False. You wrote true? Yep. It is true. Bam! You Not win! Two. Why bad. are you sad? I only thought I was going to get two. Well, you did fantastic. He's, you're so happy. Leave a comment He's below. Crying. What did you guys... Did you guys beat him? How did we do? Uh, yes, and sorry for reusing the list, but come on, let's be fair. You guys didn't go back and watch those old episodes. If you did go back and watch those old episodes, let me know so I don't do this again. You should. But if... <laughs> but if you don't, if you didn't, I'm just going to keep reusing old lists. Um, and here's the other thing. Uh, I mean, you should you should send us your own list. Right? Please send us your own did list. Did you think that list was good? Did you think that list was bad? Let me know. 
And uh, but more importantly, show me what a good list looks like. Yes. Good list looks like. Yeah. 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 It can't show me how to do it. Unless Andrew and Jesse Benson can't run the show themselves. Or can they? You know what? You guys are doing a great job. Maybe yeah. you should run this show keep it up. and uh, just keep sending the list. And, and Jesse, we promise you we'll use I your. Mean, otherwise, uh, they'll keep bringing me back. We'll pull you to fame with us. <laughs> well, we promise you we'll use your list next week. Uh, and we thank will. you again for sending yes. that in. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching mm-hmm. and playing along at home. Submit yes. your answers down below, your, your score. Remember, oh. you're on the honor system. I was going to say that. Sorry, I talk a lot. Yeah. Yep. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Oh. See you next. See you tomorrow. Tune in tomorrow for video game. Nope. Tune in tomorrow for the topic of the week. But for today, this was the best 20 minutes of my week. And mine. Video game to or false. Too. Seriously. <laughs> Who knew? Bye, guys. No, we're still here. We're still. <laughs> no, uh, I was just waving goodbye, yeah. though. No. I kind of want Funyuns. That bag's been sitting there forever. I kind of want, want pizza. On top of pizza? I just want pizza. Uh, Funyuns on top of oh, pizza. pizza? On top of pizza, so we can uh, we'll order pizza, the pizza. Then we'll go to. I'll, I'll buy the pizza. She's not buying the pizza.